All right, guys, you are um, standing in the presence of a great car that you've not seen on the channel yet. And unfortunately, it doesn't drive yet, but it will soon. This is my 1964 Shelby Daytona Coupe, and Miller's gonna show it to you right now. All right, guys, this is my 1964 Shelby Daytona Coupe. It's a CSX 9000 series, which is actually the second iteration that's been built by Superformance. And the reason it's different, the first gen actually had a different type of VIN number. This is actually licensed and titled as a 64 Shelby. That's why it gets that CSX designation. The reason I'm showing it to you today, it's not running and driving yet because I'm sure a lot of you are curious on these Superformance cars. Well, when you order them, what happens? What's the process like? How do they get delivered? What's the next step? So I figured it'd be kind of interesting today to show you what one looks like when it comes off the boat. So this car has been on order since last year. And what happens is when you start the process, they'll give you an order form or one of their sales guys will go through it with you and you get to spec your car. It's Fuji Pro White with Viper Blue stripes. And then we did this center stripe that looks black. It's actually carbon flash. And this is the first Daytona Coupe that's been built with the blackout package, which I think is really cool because as you can see, I kind of like my cars with a pro touring feel to them. So when we build this, when the wheels are on it and the side pipes, you'll get a sense of a very aggressive looking car, more modern take on the Daytona Coupe, which is what we're going for. So we thought the blackout package and doing all the black in carbon flash, which has all the metallic in it, would be a nice touch. Now, the wheels on this car right now, these are just rollers, and I'm gonna tell you why these are on it in a second, but we actually have Forge Line, who we just ordered a really nice custom set of wheels for this car. They're gonna blow your mind. They're also being painted in carbon flash. You're gonna, you're gonna really like it. But you'll notice like, there's no side pipes. The door, we just took the tape off. So this door actually opens. If we come around to the other side though, we'll take a look at this. They've actually taped up the doors. And the reason they do this is because these are not kit cars. These are actually built in a factory in South Africa. So the way it works, the long and short of it is when you order one of these, they can't come into the United States as a completed car. They have to be built out once they get here. So the package from Superformance arrives, all the body's done. This is hand-pressed fiberglass and they come fully painted, all the suspensions in, the brakes, and then when you get here, and if you saw my Instagram short from previously, my child was powering my car as the motor. They are not in here today. So you'll notice everything's plumbed and ready to go. Now, the motor we chose for this car is actually a 427. I think it's rated for 575 horsepower, and what we did was we blacked it out. So on top of this blackout package, I actually customized my motor to fit the build. In fact, we'll show you a quick picture. So when the car arrives, you can order one as simply a roller body that arrives exactly like this, obviously without the wheels and tires. And then you can have someone else finish out the build for you or Superformance has some builders they've been using for you know, over a decade. The one I use is Dennis Oltoff at Oltoff Racing. He's actually only about 25 minutes from my house. I've, I've become close with him and he's got the motor at his shop. At this point, we're just waiting for him to kind of put it in a slot to finish the build out. And the build out on this probably only takes inside of two weeks once it gets up there and they've got all the parts. So pretty cool. Again, not a lot of people shown what you get when you order a car from the factory, but this is pretty much exactly how it came off the crate last Friday. And today is, what's today, Tuesday? So it's, it's been here for in the, in the States only for a few days, less than a week. So why don't you come around here and I'll show you kind of what the interior looks like as well. Now, I'm gonna let you guys go inside. And what you'll notice is you can actually also pick out the finishes of the interior. The seats, what we did was we had some of that white pulled in with the stitching. I think that's a really nice touch and you can see that everything is completed except obviously for um, the instrument panel, the gauges, um, and in this particular car, we've actually customized the gauges. So we've got some, some really nice white lit gauges and then I think we're doing a custom blue tachometer um, that'll just go really well with this color scheme. So that's a lot of the fun behind when you order one of these cars. When you order one, you can make it totally your own. You can go full classic and like my last Daytona Coupe, it can be something straight out of the original, you know, cars that were built in the 60s. I think there were only six of them. And, or you can do modern pro touring. So now Miller and I 
get to experience a little bit of both worlds with the Daytona, so pretty cool. One of the, one of the things I love the most about this car, and this is an aerodynamic design feature back from the 1960s, and I think it was actually German engineers that first came up with this, but if you notice, it's got one of the most unique back ends I have ever seen on a car. And I think I remember, and correct me if I'm wrong, in initial testing, they did not have this wing back in the 60s and they were having problems with keeping the tail end on the ground. So they ended up adding this later and now you've got a car that's you know doing 200 miles an hour that can keep up with Ferrari. So pretty nice touch. I am not an aerodynamics expert by per se, I know a little bit, but the way that this helps reduce drag was the reason for this design. And obviously, I love this thing. It can be a pain in the ass <laughs> because it's so big and has the opportunity, obviously, to get damaged. So you gotta be careful. But other than that, I mean, how cool is that? Not only is it just, it's so unique how big this piece of glass is on the back, but also, if you wanna take this car on a long road trip or something, you could fit a ton of stuff back here. One of the things behind this second gen that, um, and I was talking to Lance earlier today, actually from Superformance, he's the owner of Superformance. He was saying that the way they designed this second gen car, the ride quality is, you know, just unbelievable. It's full independent suspension on all four corners. He said what they did too was they actually quieted down the exhaust a little bit, which I already have tinnitus in my ears from driving really loud cars. Believe it or not, to me is really attractive because when you get on it and you get on it hard, man, it's gonna sound great. But when you wanna just kind of drive and enjoy on a long touring ride, this is the car to take. It'll quiet down a little bit for you. I think this is pretty much a, a nice overview of what you would get and kind of wrapping this up, when you order a car from Superformance, as, as soon as you have a slot with someone who's gonna build it out, especially the guys that know, like Dennis, as soon as you drop it off at their shop, two weeks later, you're driving your car. Literally, you could take it from Dennis's shop and you could drive it across the country. And I would trust that that would be, that that would go well. And the reason is because you'll see up here, this is my Superformance GT40. And what happened with that car is uh, last October, it was completed. He goes, hey, I know you're going on Crown Rally South. We're in another episode on this, by the way. Four days, so take the car, put some miles on it. Let me know if anything you know, goes wrong that we can fix. I put 400 miles on it that weekend. Nothing was wrong. It ran perfectly and then proceeded to drive it 2,700 miles on a rally with 100 plus other supercars over seven days and had the time of my life. So I literally trusted it enough, the quality. Give it to Dennis. He finished the build out. And within four days, I put about 3,000 miles on the car and had no issues. It was unbelievable. The great part about these cars is they are just the quality is unbelievable on the builds. Everything just works. It works well. And again, it comes like this out of the package. It's not a kit. It's licensed and titled as a Shelby. And um, you can just enjoy it pretty much right away. So, oh yeah, here, we'll do a quick tour. So, this is obviously the 64 Shelby Daytona Coupe. This is also built by Superformance. This is a 1965 Cobra Mark III R. This is more of their modern, like, pro touring variant. That's what I call it. It's got a little bit of a few different design cues in it that I think are really cool, makes the car really aggressive. This car showed up just like that at one point, and then Dennis over at Old Top Racing built this one out, but he figured out a way to drop a brand new 5.2 Coyote Illuminator crate motor in this thing that revs to 8,000 RPM. This is a bat out of hell. I freaking love this car. And then obviously we have two other Superformance GT40s. We have a Superformance GT40 Mark I. This is one of the newer builds. This is a little over a year old, this car. It came out of the factory two years ago. We also put a Coyote Illuminator that same motor in this car. And this car, as you've seen on the channel, if you're new here, this is um, the 15th GT40 that Superformance ever built. And this is a Mark II. This actually is outfit with a Roush 427. So very different driving experiences, but obviously at one point, both of them were rollers, just like that. This car I can't talk about yet, but this is also a Shelby and it'll make more sense later. <laughs> so, and we'll skip over the Chevy. <laughs> no, that, that, that's all I got. I hope this was informative. If you have any interest at all in getting your own super performance car, whether it's a Cobra, a Daytona Coupe, a GT40, and actually they do the Corvette Grand Sport, which we've owned one as well. We owned the one that was on Jay Leno's garage, actually, it was a blue one. So if you go look that up, you can see it. Uh, we sold that car. We're thinking about getting one back. Miller's trying to talk me into it. Be good content for the channel. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions, you interested in one, hit me up. 
I'll put my email address in the description. You can put a comment down here. You can message me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help. And I've purchased nine Superformance cars to date. I love them. I am not officially sponsored by them. This is just my, it's just my collection and I just love cars. So uh, I'm happy to help. But anyway, stay tuned for next time and uh, see you later.